You might be thinking about a move to Long Beach. Well, you're gonna wanna get all the facts, the hard money facts. Let's talk about the costs of living here in Long Beach now. Hey everybody, I'm Barry Peterson, your local Long Beach real estate agent with Compass. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love to Live in Long Beach. Today, we're gonna cover the costs to live here in Long Beach. Every day I get to help people buy, sell, or invest in properties in and around Long Beach. Let's go over a little history about Long Beach. Long Beach is in Los Angeles County. And in the 1800s, it was developed as a ranching community by the Bixby family. It eventually became the fastest growing city from 1902 to 1910. It is an incredibly beautiful city with beautiful buildings, beaches, and a rich history. Long Beach is well known for its annual event, the Long Beach Grand Prix, which happens annually every April. People flood into the city to get their fix for fast cars, great food and memorable experiences that they share with their friends and family. The population of Long Beach is over 470,000 people and is growing every day. So what is the cost of living here in Long Beach? It's no secret, the cost of living here in Long Beach is way above the national average, way above. But there's plenty of benefits to living here. Where else can you go to the beach in the middle of January? The median home price in Long Beach is currently hovering right above $603,000. That is a big number. What do you get when you live here in Long Beach for that average cost? Well, your kids get to go to some of the best public schools in the state of California. There's also many private schools to choose from as well. It also means that you're only minutes away from the beach, parks, restaurants, and shops that all display our rich history and diversity that we love about Long Beach. Let's talk about utilities. Well, for Long Beach, for the most part, you're paying for gas, electric, and some city services like trash. And most bills will average total under $200 a month for a family of four. When it comes to the cost of food, an average family of four can look at spending above $100, but well below $150 a month, depending on where you shop for groceries and how often you'd like to dine out. That also goes for dining out. You really don't have to go far to find food from all over the world here in Long Beach. One of the many reasons why we love to live here. There's plenty of small mom and pop establishments where you can go and eat some diverse, yummy food for under $10 a person. But Long Beach is also very well known for its fine dining establishments. Currently, the cost of gas in Long Beach is around $3.65 a gallon. Yikes. It is common for many people in Southern California to become members at Costco or Sam's Club, where you not only can stock up on groceries for the whole family, and you can also fill up your tank of gas for a dollar less a gallon than the regular average gas station. The overall sales tax in Long Beach is currently 10.3% and income tax is 9.3%. These may seem a little high, and they are, but the money is going right back into the city to help cover $2.8 million in unfunded infrastructure needs, as well as upgrades to all over the city. You might be thinking, hey, Barry, this is all really great information if I'm thinking about a move into Long Beach. But the big question would be, what do I need to make a year to ensure that my family thrives here in Long Beach? Well, that's a great question. On average, you or your family combined will need to have about $88,000 a year of income to enjoy a great quality of life here in Long Beach. There's no way around it. Long Beach is an expensive place to live, but I can tell you from living here for a very long time, I love it and I think it's worth it. With all our rich diversity, great places to eat, 
great parks and amazing public schools that my children went through, I think you're gonna love it here too. Do you need guidance with your next move? Well, give me a call. I'm here to help anytime. Have a great day, everybody.